there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and as you can see, I'm back on a roll again, and just trying to um, bring you certain pieces of news that I think is important and relevant for those of you um, who may be illegally illegal in the country. Now, Boris Johnson came out with this amnesty promise, in quotes, um, saying he was going to grant amnesty. And a lot of people are kind of equating it to the amnesty that went on in America, where, um, and it also went on in Ireland, where illegal immigrants were actually granted amnesty. This is not the case this time around. So don't go paying any lawyers um, to be put on the amnesty register because you'll just be wasting your money. This amnesty, which doesn't even exist really, it's just a particular that is going around asking for um, amnesty to be granted but it's not taking place and of course even though Boris um, Johnson did talk about amnesty this has now been superseded by Brexit so amnesty is now on the back burner anyway but even so whether or not you've been in the country 5, 10, 15 years you're not going to get amnesty if you're illegal and also, you know, there was a concession, as we know, that if he was in the country for 14 years or 20 years, you could get, you could apply for ILR, indefinite leave to remain, which is permanent residence. That is not the same thing. That is totally different. And the laws have changed. So if you are undocumented, I won't call you an illegal immigrant, but if you are undocumented and you are in the UK and you're thinking that the amnesty is your answer to your prayers, it's not. You don't want to get caught out in all of this. Anything that's too good to be true usually is. So you have to be wise and you have to exercise discretion and you don't go trying to pay out money to some of these um, unhealthy lawyers who would be more than happy to... Um, make out like you've got a choice you have a chance and you know we have unscrupulous lawyers there's good and bad everywhere so like I always say make sure you choose a credible lawyer somebody who is um has done the bar and who's on the home office website or law society website or gov.uk website don't go just picking up any lawyer that says that they can get you amnesty put you on the register and they take your money if you're illegal in the country, if you are undocumented, you will not be granted amnesty at this point. Unless the law changes and unless something happens. I mean, at the moment, we don't even know whether amnesty was just a, a voice to get votes. We don't know why Boris spoke about amnesty. We always have to be wary about politicians' promises. So don't put yourself in trouble in hot water. Don't give away information or money unnecessarily. And um, yeah, I'm just keeping it short and sweet, really, just to let you know that it is not, uh, amnesty is not to make illegal immigrants legal. It's not for that purpose at all. I think it's more, if it does come through, it's going to be more for those people who are legally in the country, who have been waiting for ages and ages while their applications have been um, deferred or what, for whatever reason, but they're actually legally in the country, technically. But because of processing problems and stuff like that, it's more, it's more likely to be for those type of people. It's not going to be for um, a lot of people who may be in the country undocumented. So sorry to give you this news. Like I said, you know, things change and it can change. But as of this present moment, um, amnesty is not a um, is not the answer to the illegal or undocumented um, person's prayers at this time. And that's all for now. Bye bye.